Hello beauty news family! Welcome back to the Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup. We upload new videos every Wednesday, so if you want to see more, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we smash some makeup. Alright guys, so today we are finally featuring a Juvia's Place product. This is a Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And today we plan on doing a weight check, some swatches, and a destruction and repress. So this palette claims to contain 32.4 grams of product. That's a massive amount. It's a lot. And the palette doesn't feel very heavy. No, no, no. <sighs> so this is the first time that we have experienced a Juvia's Place palette in person. So it's an interesting experience for us. We love exploring new brands. The packaging is a simple cardboard, which is perfectly fine. No mirror, but really beautiful artwork. So you can see on the inside of the packaging, gorgeous artwork. On the outside of the palette, uh, you have the design on the front and nothing on the back. No weight details, no ingredient details or anything like that. You are going to hold on to, or you're going to have to hold on to the box if you want to keep an eye on the ingredients which can be handy for people who like have an allergic reaction to a single shade because then it's often that you have like a reaction to one of the color pigments it's a very uncommon but it's helpful to have the ingredients around so you know what's inside if something does go wrong and it just means you have to hang on to this packaging so, like we said, the weight of this palette is 32.4 grams net. Each shadow is going to be about three and a bit grams each. We also wanted to point out that this is a cruelty-free brand. Mm -hmm. And what this fancy little thing here means is that it's actually made in China. Mm. So, a lot of brands that don't want to write made in China... They put made in PRC, which mm -hmm. means the People's Republic of China. Mm -hmm. So sorry if that upsets anyone. I know yeah. some people don't like buying palette, palettes made in China. Mm. But if you're buying a product that's made in China, it can still be cruelty free yeah. as long as it's not sold within China, which I believe these Do aren't in store places, anywhere yeah. in China. So yeah. this can be cruelty free and made in China and PRC means China. Mm-hmm. Let's weigh this palette before we swatch it. Yes. That orange is really cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. Brown's very warm. It is. I reckon these would apply nicely with a brush. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, their metallic formula is really nice. And they're about to be buildable. Why... Yeah, they are. I see why people like them. Yeah. Uh, and they, like, if you're a colour lover... Yeah, absolutely. I totally get it. I'm curious about the purple. It looks pretty fucking rad. Mm. That pink is really nice. Purple's quite nice too. Yeah, purple's not bad. Ooh. Alright. There we go. I'm listening. Yeah, nice and vibrant. They're cool. All right, let's see how firm these are. And pay homage to the Illuminati for the year. Gotta do it. So that's how we get out of crops. We'll, we'll have to uh, cut a triangle out of one of these metallics because- That did not do that, it. it is, it's, it's not working over here, but that's all right. Plenty more opportunities. That's what I like to see. Don't friend. you love it when that happens? Yes. Let's yeah, try to I've accomplish gotta, that each uh, time. I've gotta get it out. It's not gonna fit in It's not cup. gonna fit. Mm. Look. 
Now it will. Good enough. No mess, no fuss. That's correct. Brown town. Brown town. No, this one's More crumbly. stuck and crumbly. Oh, it's shifting. Tectonic plates are shifting. They are. I'm keen to see if we can get a triangle out of this. Shimmer, shimmer. Na, 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 na. Oh, honey, honey. You're very... Ooh. Yes. Yes. We're praying to the pizza gods. We are. Pizza gods. Oh my gods, I love a full pizza. Beautiful. Nom nom nom. Lucky last. Grimace. Yeah. Now I want McDonald's. I know. Alright, so we were right. It is under, but not by as much as we expected. It's under by 2.18 grams. And that is within like the allowed deficit of makeup products. Which is 10%. Yes. We are now going to repress our palette. We'll show you a couple of shades, but not all of it because it takes a long time and it's boring to watch. But um, look, I don't think the formula is going to repress very well in my experience over the last couple of years of doing this i agree these eyeshadows they just look they've just got a certain feel and i just don't look i wouldn't be surprised if the next time you see this we're holding it up in a beauty news recap and broken shades are falling out onto the carpet yeah i i think the shades that will press nicely are, are the, the metallics shimmers, yeah um but when you look at something and it's holding up like this yeah it's not it's, it's not generally it's, too dry yeah to repress and putting alcohol in this and pressing it. It's gonna make it even drier. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. crack, it's going to remove, like lift from the pan. Yeah. All right, little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Give it a mix. No. It's not gonna do it? No, we're not doing this. These, okay. Guys, I, I need to, we need to explain this. We get a lot of flack for not uh, repressing things on the Makeup Breaker. So when an eyeshadow's first ingredient is talc and you start adding fluid to it, it becomes like this weird, oh, someone has told it, many people have told us what it's called, it's Newtonian, Newtonian fluid, fluid. Yeah. where it's like, it feels one way when there's pressure on it and it feels another way when it's like just allowed to flow and do what it wants. So like corn flour, yeah. if you mix it with water, if yeah. you put pressure on it, it goes firm. If you yeah. just let it do its thing, it goes like yeah. gloopy. And these also have kaolin in them quite high up on the ingredient list. And I can just tell, I can just tell how much alcohol it's taking to get these damp this is not gonna work no we are going to spend over an hour repressing this palette for it to dry and crack and not be usable and like we understand that you guys really like to see things repressed but after doing this for actually years yep we have learnt that sometimes it's worth it and sometimes it's not. And this is definitely a not I don't situation. think this is going to be, um, yeah. 
Do you want to show in comparison what a shimmer's like when you add alcohol to yes, it? Yes, let's do it. might be able to see that with just a few drops of isopropyl alcohol it's starting to clump together and that is like the perfect sign so you just add a tiny bit more until the formula looks like almost like wet sand so not completely clumped together in a ball but like it's happy to sort of start sticking together you can put that straight in a pan and press it and that will dry over the course of about two days and that will be good as new. This is going to get super, super dry. It's going to crack. It's going to pull away from the edges of the pan and you're not going to get the color payoff that you usually do. And the problem is as well, these are quite pigmented. Yeah. You're going to open it up. Your <laughs> nice beige carpet is yeah. going to have a sprinkling of rainbow colors on it. Yeah. It's yeah. not worth the hassle. It's not worth the hassle. And these palettes aren't super expensive. No. So if we wanted to try Juvia's Place, we'll just we would just place another one. Yeah. Order. We would much prefer to just buy the products again, support the brand and use them as intended. Mm hmm this also shows, though, a lot of people like to watch these and see how eyeshadows behave when they need to be repressed. Uh, there is a community out there of people who like to depot eyeshadows, yeah. that like to repress them when they've hit pan, that like to repair broken makeup if they've arrived broken in the mail. Yeah. I would not recommend it for these. No. And if it's a metallic yes. and you can collect all the product, go for it. Do it. I know that that will repress beautifully. But the mattes, mm, I'm sorry. So I don't think they're going to be as good. Yeah, at yeah. all. No. And this is very common with uh, Source Box. We yeah. had that. A lot of very, very pigmented, bright yeah. mattes just yeah. don't come together. Yeah. Nudes often come together beautifully. Nudes do beautifully. I remember when we repressed the Huda Desert, Desert Dusk. Dusk. Yeah. My God, guys, that palette looks like it was never destroyed. And yeah. it works beautifully. It does depend on the formula. Also, you know, how hard the eyeshadows are pressed and quite often the color. Yeah. True. So, yeah, we hope you're not too upset about this, but we don't want to waste precious time in December. Oh, and the battery's dying. So perfect. perfect timing. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Bye.